Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It is a fold fat, fold fat, fold flat rectangular box. And I will show you how it folds flat. It's absolutely darling. Um, so this is the project we're going to make today. I do want to say I'm very sorry. Um, Monday's video, I managed to miss off the colouring that I did um, of the darling little magical myths night that I was colouring in. And I didn't realise until after the event. Unfortunately, I was filming that literally at the 11th hour um, before getting it loaded. Christmas holidays will do that to you. So I am really sorry that it wasn't on camera. But the photos are all on my blog, so you can see them. But I did want to say sorry about that. Um, but this is today's project. Folds flat, 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 totally flat. And you only need one piece of adhesive. <gasps> Love it when there's a project that only needs one piece of glue. And that is on the seam. So this is the project. I'm not going to be using the, the Tutti Frutti Suite at all. Um, I use this Tutti Frutti paper and the Lemon Zest stamp and punch. And I yes, I did fussy cutting. But as I was as I was getting this ready, guess what arrived in the post? My new Truly Tailored Bundle. Ha <laughs> ha, love it. I haven't been able to pre-order this, so literally I haven't even prepped this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this. Right, you need a piece of cardstock that is eight and a quarter by 11 inches. I've got my trimmer here. I do need to put a new blade in it. So I have got my blades here. You get two in a pack and it comes with a little, little plasticky doodah. And it literally, that's my scoring blade. You lift this up here and you, I'm going to pop it into there and catch it. There we go, brand new blade. So, eight and a quarter by 11 inches, 21 by 28 centimetres. Please don't worry about writing anything down. It's all on my blog. So if you click open the description bar down below, you'll see a link to this particular project. It's so eight and a quarter. <coughs> Excuse me, losing my voice. And, oh no, I've just dropped it on the floor. I have got brand new sheet that I can't pick up. A beautiful designer series paper from that suite and it's called True Gentleman. And it's very manly, but I'm going to see what I can do to make a non-manly project for you. As in, for everybody. And I love it. It's gorgeous. It's even got buttons. And I don't do buttons. I have a phobia of them. But I'm going to use them today. Right, so we need four pieces of DSP for on here. Five and three quarters of an inch long by one and three quarters of an inch wide. So that's 15 and a half by four and a half centimetres. My tip for you is start with your largest measurement. So that's five and three quarters. Cut that so it leaves you with one nice big bit and then cut your shorter bits so one and three quarters so that was 15 and a half centimeters long by four and a half centimeters and then you will get a pattern that matches for start and you'll get some nice big pieces left over if you were to do it the other way you were to do the one and three quarters you'd end up you'd end up with lots of long thin bits left over so that is my big tip right scoring tool because you want to know how to make the box okay on the long side score it at half an inch two and a half eight and a half and ten and a half inches which in metric is 1, 6, 22, 27. And then turn it round and score it at 2, 4, 6 and 8, which is 5, 10, 15 and 20 centimetres. Okay, lovely tranquil tide. Not the best on camera. I'm going to try not to lose the light today. This is what happens when you film in winter. Okay, so fold and burnish all your score lines. This is a great box to make if you have got lots of birthdays all at the same time. My, I've got four sons and obviously my husband and myself. And just between the six of us, we cluster our birthdays together. My four sons have their birthdays in pairs. There are two in April. And the other two bookend 
August, literally the last day of July and the first day of September. But then when you add mine into the equation and my husband's, um, the first two that happen in April, we've got middle of April, end of April, and then a couple of days into May. That's my husband and my two children. And then in the summer, well, while the summer, while my two other boys bookend August, my mum has her birthday right in the middle of August as well. And then mine's in March. So you're clustering lots of stuff together. Um, so, yeah, if you've got birthdays like me and you need to make loads of gift boxes, fold flat for storage. OK, the bits to remove. Now, these are the ends of the box. And you can see there's only three parts to it. So I would always suggest that you do the same on either side. First thing to do, get rid of the skinny. I will do one side and then I will hover it so you can see it and then I will do the other side. Now, hopefully you can see, there's a score line there, there's a lump. Always cut so you're cutting the lump away. And we're gonna remove that bit there. We've got one, two, number three we're going to get rid of completely, which leaves us with number four. So one, two, get rid of three, keep number four. Take a hair of a whisper of a little bit off the edge. That is literally a tiny little bit. And then we need to get rid of that bit, but maybe just a little bit more, about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, half a centimetre, and that one. So what you're left with is those. So if I just hold that there for a second, um, next to the thin line, number one, number two, get rid of three, and number four, and just wedge it so you can see there's that tiny little gap. Perfect. And then do exactly the same on the opposite side. I'm removing that, the lump from the score line. Can you see it there? That's where my score line went in. Get rid of that. Don't want that. And this final one. So we're getting rid of that one. And then over here and the little wedge. I'm really excited to be using this truly tailored. I literally have not experimented with it at all so we're gonna do it together to see what I can make. I just literally grabbed some paper out and that was it. Talk about planning or not. Okay, so that's the final thing. Let me turn it back to where I had the one, two, miss three and four. Okay, and this little part here is what we're gonna put adhesive to. But I want to put my panels on when oh, I need to round my corner. So we don't have a corner rounder anymore. We have the envelope punch board and lovely Jenny put my corner rounder in the post to me. Um, I do like our corner rounder that is on the envelope punch board, but this is slightly easier to manhandle. On video. There we go. So it's just those ones because you need it to so that it slips in easier. Just in there. Right, DSP panels. We could have bow ties. We could have stripes. I think I kind of prefer the stripes to be completely honest, but then other than Doctor Who, I don't know anybody who wears a bow tie personally. Um, but that is just me. So, and I, I think if I put bow ties on a project for my husband, he'd look at me like I was mad. I don't think I've ever known my dad to wear a bow tie. My brothers, perhaps when they've been to black tie events, um, certainly none of my boys, they wear ties for school, as in, well, they used to actually, they don't, oh no, they don't at this school. Um, they had worn school ties, but not bow ties, so stripes it is. Okay, 
last one on. So now I just need to put my piece of adhesive down there. So, oh, let's drop everything. I like tear and tape for this because I'm working with just a quarter of an inch, just one centimeter. And tear and tape is a little bit wider, as is fuse. And you can see it's overlapped slightly, but I can sort that out, which I can't with anything else. I can only do that with tear and tape. So, I would quite like my children to not be playing with my paper pieces anymore. You do not want to know how much grid paper I've just had to lift up. Because one of my children has decided that they were going to do a stabbing project. Okay, so this, you can see all the glue that's folded, up, that's extra, and you just fold it back on itself and it will stick to itself. Meaning that now I don't have a sticky edge. Fold it over, stick it down, and the box should hopefully close. You might have to do a little bit of, oh no, that's fine. You might have to shave a tiny little bit off those bits. Um, but actually, no, apparently in this case, no, we're fine. Right, beautiful Knight of Navy corduroy ribbon, which is a bit special, isn't it? However, it's double-sided. This is going to be fun, isn't it? See if I can get a bow that looks... Actually, I'll make it a knot, you know, because it's the manly, not manly. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a bit that's the wrong way up, aren't I? Oh, well. Oh no, there we go. Oh, I twisted it just about right. Okay, and then this lovely stand set. Oh, I think I've just got a kitten. I have got a kitten, it's just appeared in the room. <laughs> they were sleeping. Right, hoping your birthday is as grand as you. Today is your day celebrating style. Hmm. I don't know if that's gonna fit in the punch. So, here's the punch. And that isn't going, is that going to fit? That is just going to fit, isn't it? <gasps> oh, actually it probably would help if I looked in the catalogue because it does tell you which ones will fit. But that will just fit in there. Brilliant. Okay, block. Very vanilla because that's vanilla over there. I wonder if she's going to come and say hello. She's trying to work out how to get across to me. She jumped on the floor. Is she coming up? Yes, she comes. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> she just came up the back of the chair. And she's going to launch herself. So. Come on, down here. There she is. <laughs> this is Berry. She <laughs> and she loves the paper punch. She's a pretty, very pretty Bengal. No, eat it. No, don't take on the project. No, don't eat the ink. Right. <laughs> Pretty girl. What am I doing? Oh, no. I... Oh, she's going to take on everything. I use... I don't know what I've done with my mini glue dots. <laughs> it's playtime, isn't it? Seriously, they were fast asleep. They keep destroying my photo studio. And mini glue dots on the back. <laughs> Yes, I know you love me. <laughs> Remove kitten. I wanted to put that up on the dimensionals, but... Oh, don't steal the glue dots. There we go. I wanted to put that up on dimensionals, but I didn't turn away from my desk because she'll be off. Right. Ooh, okay, there's no fish eye ones in here. That's okay. I can touch these. Anybody else got a strange phobia of buttons like me? Oh, don't like it. I do have a phobia, and it is particularly the fish eye. That is not an invitation to you all to send me billions of pictures of the fish eye, <laughs> fish eye buttons. They're like ninjas, those things. You can't see them. There we go. And kitten play. <laughs> She's got it in her mouth. So Barry says hello. I don't know where Sorrel is. Fennel's probably sleeping somewhere. That definitely would look better with dimensionals, I reckon. Let me see if I've got some spares. I took them downstairs when I was doing a project last night. Uh, 
Uh, oh. oh, there's far too many there. I only want three of them. Yeah, she's happy now. She's taken that bit of, of um, paper backing. That's better. Much better. False flat. Look at that. It's a 15 minute video. I must learn to not talk so much. Anyway, and I didn't lose the light. Hurrah! And the kitten came to say hello. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.